Alright, hello class. Now we're gonna start our art making activity. So I want you guys to continue to look at this picture that I have up. You know, the one by Jack Wayne. And this is what I want you guys to take inspiration from. So I'm gonna show you guys what you're gonna need to do and also the materials you're gonna need to create this piece of art just like me. Alright. Um, so I'm gonna list the materials right here. It's just gonna be a piece of paper or if you have canvas or you just have construction paper, it's all right. Whatever paper you can find, that's what you can use. Um, so yeah, you're gonna need a piece of paper. If you have paint, that's what I would prefer. But if you don't have paint wherever you are, you can use markers or colors or color pencils, anything that you have. And just like Jack Whitten here, you guys are going to create your own little version of this without using a paintbrush. So, I want you guys to go outside, find sticks or leaves or rocks, anything that you guys want to use. You can also use um, pipe cleaners if you have them, um, um, or anything else, toothpicks, anything you can find wherever you're at, that's what you're allowed to use, except for a paintbrush. And so to start this activity, hey class, we're here back in my desk. Um, I got a blank piece of paper now. I already made mine, but I'm going to show you guys that at the end. So what I have to work with here first are some cotton swabs. That's what I'm going to use to paint mine. Now, green, yellow, and purple are my favorite colors. That's why I'm choosing to use these. But I want you guys to pick whatever you want. It can be whatever colors, however many colors. It can be just one or two. It could be three or four. It could be seven. Whatever you guys want. I just want you guys to be able to express yourself through these. I want these to be a representation of who you are. So, let's go on. Purple is my favorite color. All so I'm gonna start with this. Let's do normal squirts. Here, as you can see, I'm gonna put some dots of purple paint, and now I'm just gonna use the key tip. So I just finished showing you how I made mine and giving you an example of how to make yours. Again, I used some Q-tips, but you guys can use whatever you can find. Like I said, sticks, um, just like Jack Whitten used in his sticks, anything with the paintbrushes, etc. So, so I'm going to show you guys what the final copy should look like. Something like this. And so it's okay if it doesn't look perfect or you know exactly the way you want because art is subjective. As long as it good, looks good to you and you did your best, that's okay. It doesn't need to look specifically like um, the example I showed you or like my example. It can look however you want. That's just how I decided to do it. Okay guys, so I'm going to go on. I got to work on this with you guys and I hope you guys had fun and you really liked the art that you created. I'm so excited to see all of y'all's paintings um, whenever you turn them in. So, everyone have a great day. Let's continue with the lesson.